there are four things we need to look for when we figure out where to put our blue barrel system. First, we're going to look for existing downspouts. Second, we're going to pay attention to where we are in relation to our irrigation area. We want to stay pretty close. Third, we're going to look for some shade. And fourth, we need to build on level ground. Your blue barrel system needs to be installed within a couple of feet of an existing downspout. If you don't have gutters and downspouts already, you'll need to install them. The downspout takes the rainwater from your roof into your drainage system or onto your landscape. And what we're going to do with a rainwater catchment system is intercept that flow and store it so that you can use it for irrigation. If you're using your blue barrel system for garden irrigation, which is an ideal use for it, you can do it by gravity feed without even using a pump. The way to approach that is to stay fairly close to your garden if you're on a flat site. You only need your water level to be about a millimeter above your irrigation area in order for it to work. If you're lucky enough to be on a slope site and you can build your system uphill from your irrigation area, you can get the water to travel much farther by gravity feed and you don't have to worry so much about how close you are to your garden. Shade is important because it helps keep your stored water cool and it keeps the direct sunlight off of your barrels. Here we looked for a nice shady spot on the northern side of the, of the home and there are trees surrounding as well so we don't need to worry about direct sun. A little bit of sun on your system is okay, but if you don't have a spot that's shady at all, you can always create shade. You can build a fence or a trellis type structure around your system or plant some hedgerow type plantings. 